Here are the two different overdrive types, the D-type and the J-type. D, J. Easiest way to identify these is the solenoid. The solenoid on the D-type, if you're looking at it from the rear, is on the right side. The J-type is on the left. The wiring fixtures could vary, so the shape of the solenoid is pretty similar, but that's the easiest way to tell, left to right. This is also, another obvious thing is, it has a uh, smaller casing size altogether, and is a little bit more of a perfect circle than this fella. This fella's got the bumps out here for the four, six major mounting bolts. Uh, this one uses a ring of small bolts here, as well as here. This one has the wrong ring of small bolts only in the front. Some other things about these two, I think this is the relief valve. I might be wrong, but that's, uh, there's a valve on the top. All the drain valves are on the bottom for the D-type. The tag is on the side with the solenoid, and uh, the insides look very similar. Um, in another video, I'll rebuild this, but you'll see that they're pretty much, they look almost the same on the inside. Uh, the J-type has a ring that the eccentric on the transmission itself actually pumps that center valve. This one uses a spring. Okay, and the spring uh, runs on the eccentric. There's the brass in the middle. The plungers, not the plungers, I keep calling that the pistons that are behind here that are attached to the clutch. Those um, that are attached through these retainers and those retainers to the clutch, those pistons are smaller on the D-type than on the J-type. The J-type has the ability to handle, I think, more power, and it seems to be a little bit more robust over the years. Uh, some other differences also, you can see how the mounting differences on the speedometer gear. This one has a bolt that goes in through the rear. This one has a, a bolt that just holds it as a retainer. Okay, um, bonus points if you have already identified, this is not an M41, this is an M40 that has an M41 shaft replacement and has been modified to take the overdrive unit. So that's really interesting. I don't think there's any known benefits to that. If anything, it's um, gonna oil a little less efficiently, effectively. I think the M41 has a second oil group this way um, on both sides. Uh, that could be a mistake, but this has a slightly different oil channeling inside the case. Because a major point of the case, as you fill up with fluid, and you can see here, the fluid full level is just barely enough to be effective to get into the overdrive casing. So really you wanna fill this car when it's up at an angle, you know, ramp up the front wheels so you can get that fluid into the overdrive unit. It's 1.6 liters in this transmission. So uh, back to the overdrive units, perhaps I could show you the bottom. Another easy identifier on the bottom, this has those little uh, veins or maybe like to cool some of the, the heat as the air flows through. And on the D-type, you just have all the drain valves. There is a drain valve on the J-type all the way over there, but the D-type has the drain valve labeled very clearly. I have a socket welded on there because it's stripped and that was the only way I could get it off. It was so stuck when I went to reseal everything. And then you've got your other two valves there, as well as another spot to something else for servicing there. Um, inside of here, you pop this cover off and you adjust the arm that controls the engagement um, you don't want it to be over or under adjusted because that'll have issues in either direction. And here's the tag. It confirms that this is an M40. One more important thing to tell you about the rears. Look at the size of the bolts um, on the yokes. They're a little bit larger on the M41 J-type than they are on the D-type. It's a smaller nut. The, sh the size of the yoke overall is the same, but just the nut and the shaft is beefier on the J-type than it is on the D-type. Supposedly, um, it can safely handle just about the 100 horsepower that these engines put out. If you're going for something with more power, you really want the J-type. Looking at the green books, the J-type on the left, which is the M40 and the M410, and they even make a mention of an M31 for if you have a three-speared gearbox with an overdrive attached, that's probably very unusual to find. Never seen one and this is the first I hear of it, but on the D-type here, you can see that the um, essential function of how the main gear and the sun gear 
work, it's just about the same. Uh, direct drive power is transmitted from the gearbox main shaft through the unidirectional clutch to the output shaft. The torque is transmitted through the clutch sliding member when reversing or when acting as a brake, okay? So when you hit overdrive in both of these, essentially the rear ends work the same way, this tapered ring, which is the clutch. So when you engage the overdrive electrohydraulically, uh, you, once you get in fourth gear and the switch at the top of the gearbox, which should be here, um, I have that cover actually right down there. That allows you only to do it in fourth gear. And then it closes the circuit, the solenoid and the overdrive is engaged. Those hydraulic pistons inside lock the sun wheel and then those planet gear carriers that are splined to the main shaft are forced to rotate around the sun wheel. And so that causes the output shaft to rotate at a higher speed than the main shaft. And that's where you get your overdrive. So you can see the black is non-rotating parts. The red is the parts that rotate at higher speed than the input shaft. And the parts rotating at the same speed as the input shaft are when you are not engaged in overdrive. So this is just direct drive and overdrive. It's the same thing for both. I was uh, thinking for many years that it was a little bit different, but really they are fundamentally the same in the way that they engage. And that's why they look so similar on the inside. So BuckeyeTriumphs.org has this wonderful resource here that shows you just every little bit of this J-type solenoid um, expounded upon. And there might be a few things that are a little bit different here. I'm not positive, but for the most part, it looks identical to what we've got.